Yeah, this is the academy here, and this is my mom's show. Outside? Yes. Armed with this reality of boarding talent, we went on a search into a quiet suburb of Lagos, and here's what we found. An open neighborhood academy giving free tutorials to residents. Armed with the pencils and brushes, this young Nigeria under the tutelage of Ayo Arts patiently and painstakingly convey the inner transactions of their mind on those white sheets, doing so for as long as it takes. We started the academy in year 2014. We have about 10 students now. So now that they are in holiday, some of them just join. Instead of them playing around like a football around, playing rough around. So their parents brought them here and we also capture some people like maybe when we see them, okay. Like when they have the talent of joining, okay, you can join the academy and then we try to groom them from there. So we just try to keep them busy instead of doing wrong, playing rough all around. It's something they can do. They can be great, like pursuing the future now. So, the major purpose of the Higher Holy Academy of Art is to catch, to able to to capture the young ones and to make them discover themselves on time. kind of um, work? The, well, what he's trying to achieve is he's trying to go to the hyperrealism, hyperrealism painting. Hyperrealism painting. So, but these are the basis where it starts from. Like the step. He has to go through laying the first color. After the first color, you blend everything together. The blending it together, you have to lay other color. Like you have to, you, you, sh you should have like three layers or four layers on, on this job before you get to the hyperrealism before everything now gets set and they titled it hyperrealism painting. How do you ever get to know um, these colors? How do you get to know how to put these colors together? And, and if I make a mistake, what do I do? The, the drawing is condemned or something like that. We are trained to see colors. Mm, that's to see colors. We are trained to see colors. Yes. So when we are looking at something, we, we don't look at it as normal people look at it. We have to look at it from our own aspects, like what color is this? Like, is there any color under? We won't look at the color on it. We look for the color under the color, under the, under uh, the layer colors. So we start from the lay, from the beneath layer, then we also, after getting to it, we start putting colors. So we look at colors, try to study it, and read meaning to it, so that's when you get to know all these colors. Is this like a picture or something? Just, you know, no, I like it, it's quite beautiful. No, it's not a picture, it is oil painting on canvas. And the the style is make, trying to depict it to the level of hyperrealism. So making it looking like picture. That so is, this is like another form of hyperrealism, but this is not pencil work, but it is painting. Um, painting. Yes. So, so you can see all all, all the wrinkles yeah, and the, the details. Like hair. Yeah, so look uh, at the little dots of um, hair on his um, yes. jaw. Yes, so he's. And everything here is paint. Yeah, he's painted. Everything. He's painted. This, this is painted by 
the um, Palumi Adekoya, which is we call him the slow art. Is the person here? Yeah, he's, a, he's, a, he's one of our students. Is the person here right now? Yes, he's here. Where's where the person? He's the one painting inside. Oh, the, oh okay. The, the guy that was painting inside. Yes. He was one that did this. Yes. Uh, interesting. So who are, which other persons do you have in your academy here that we can actually take a look at? Oh, we have, we have the, the, the BT artist, Waspa. Waspa, the BT artist. It's the small, small. <laughs> now he's trying to work on it. It's, it's a commission job. Like this, someone gave him to work on this. So he's already taking on commission jobs. Yes. <laughs> job now, you can see. He's so busy. he's also paint on canvas. Yeah, he's painting on canvas. So is this another form of hyperrealism on uh, painting on canvas? Painting on canvas, but it's not hyperrealism. It's not going to work. It's not going to do it to the level of hyperrealism. It's two different things. There's hyperrealism and there's realism. Okay. So the hyperrealism is when you have all the details coming out, but the realism now it will look real, but you might not have the all the all the in the face coming out all the details like the people's the the beards coming out so but it will be real now what he's trying to do is just to lay the colors he's seeing colors you, you can see a lot of colors not one color he's using he's not wo only working with brown you see yellow, you see a lot of colors like red, different colors in the work. We make up our mind to be focused and we always try to look at image of some great artist. Like if there's no greatness in this art, these people won't get to this stage and we always believe in in our in our hard working like and be diligent and we are always patient and believe that tomorrow is going to bring fortune and in like this environment we are now there are a lot of discouragement and you might be working now and you find someone coming to say oh wow nice job and just touch what you are doing what you've been busy doing so that is a mess to the work and it's something that you don't do in art. So we, we just have to, to accept it because of, it's because of the environment we are. Then we, we continue with our normal life. So it's always, it has always been like that. Like one day I was working on umbrella, like doing motifs on umbrella. And someone just came to meet me like, guy, do you, do you repair umbrella? <laughs> <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> I was like, so, so there's nothing to to just say than to accept that is the environment, is the environment we are. So we have to continue. So we believe that one day in this art we are going to be great. My name is Karim Wise. All I'm looking known as Waspa Art. I'm a student of Aiwale Academy of Arts. I'm an hyperrealism artist. I want to become a great artist in the wide world and a well-known artist in the wide world. I want to let all my artwork be in the National Museum, the National Museums. My name is Adika Kolumi Imamed, known as the Slow Art. I'm a student of Iowa Academy of Art. I want to be the greatest hyperrealism artist, hyperrealism painter in Nigeria. And I want all my works to be in the highest place, highest place in Nigeria, even in abroad. I want to see them in in greater places and I want to see them like the part of the artist part of the great artist in the world part of the great artist in Africa and also part of the great artist in Nigeria and I like I want some of them to be in 
agencies, some of them to be in like individual people to do a great art whereby a lot of people can connect with and using this art to pass the message all over the world. My name is Sulaimo Farouk. I'm six years old. I joined this team last week. I want to become a great artist in the future. Teacher, uncle, uncle taught him. Yeah, he calls his art um, teacher uncle. You know how it works. Not everyone feels the same in terms of understanding the dynamics of art and the work artists do, and that has always led to the question about how much art is being appreciated. I'm particularly amazed at the translation of that little boy. Like him, we have thousands scattered across our neighborhoods perhaps waiting to be discovered, honed, and made ready to be thrown into the firing line. It applies for other endeavors, but the arts in particular, because it didn't used to be a first port of call in terms of career choice. But these guys and the veterans that have gone before them are rewriting that narrative. You can encourage someone around you. That's our show for this week. Bye for now.